You've got some moccasins. What are you going to do with it? Hi, I'm Dad Smackson. I'm holding one of my most favorite foods in the world, fish tacos. We're gonna show you how to make it in Smackson's kitchen today. You got Smackson's. What are you gonna do with it? Okay, welcome to another episode of Smackson's kitchen. You know, one of my most favorite foods in the world are fish tacos. Love them, can't get enough of them. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make a simple beer battered fish taco that is delicious and really easy to prepare with of course the star being Smackison's St. Croix pepper sauce so let's get started we're going to start off with our dry ingredients first we're going to start with a cup of flour flour sorry and we have a little garlic powder we've got some cumin we're also going to add something a little different. We're going to add a little bit of a coriander seed, about a teaspoon, some onion powder, a little bit of salt, and we're going to put about four tablespoons of Smackison and St. Croix pepper sauce to the mix. And our major liquid is going to be good old fashioned Australian beer. You can use whatever kind that you normally drink. You know, dark beer kind of works a little better. You can see this is fresh beer. <laughs> a little too fresh for right now. Give it a little bit extra. I'm gonna take all those ingredients and give it a good whisk. Make sure it's all incorporated. So there you have it, real simple and we're gonna get our fish and I will show you what you will do next okay we've got our batter made and uh, the oil's heating up and uh, what I have I have a little bit of flour in a uh, Ziploc bag and I've got some tilapia that's gonna be the main protein for my fish well, only protein for my fish tacos and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put it uh, put these fish in the bag and just give it a quick toss you know, you should always, when you're making a batter, go from dry to wet. Because when you put uh, a solution like flour on the protein first, it'll make your batter stick better. And it'll give you that nice, crunchy texture that you get when you're at a restaurant. You ever wonder when you make food at home that it doesn't have that crunch like a restaurant has? Well, that's why. And sometimes they use flour, sometimes they use cornstarch. Uh, they'll use something similar to that. A few seconds for the oil to uh, heat up. Just want to remind you guys that we do have a cookbook that's published and it's available online right now at www.smackersons.com. Over 40 recipes, uh, everything from fish, shrimp, beef, pork, ribs, burgers, even dessert. $12.95 includes shipping for a limited time only. You can get that only at www.smackersons.com. Okay, while the oil's still heating, we're going to go ahead and make our remoulade sauce and go with our fish tacos. We're going to start with about three tablespoons of Smackers and St. Croix sauce. I'm going to add probably two, three tablespoons of good mayonnaise. You can eyeball it, kind of figure out what's going on. You make it to your consistency. Don't make it too thin. Don't make it too thick. And remember with Smackers and sauce, you control the heat. Put a lot in there. It'll be spicy but you can back some of the heat down and you'll still have that good flavor. So I'm gonna give that a good mix. And then I'm going to take about a half a cup of chopped uh, Roma tomatoes. And I'm gonna add that and give that a quick stir. And that's gonna provide the 
topping for our sauce. Okay, so let's get frying on that fish. Okay, my oil is hot and I'm going to just take one piece at a time. I'm going to take the tilapia and shake the excess flour off. I'm going to dip it in the beer batter, shake an excess from that, and I'm going to put it in the pan facing away from me. And my oil could be perhaps a little bit hotter, but that'll do. You should, you should have your oil at about 365 degrees because even vegetable oil will burn. You don't want it too hot, but you want it hot enough to cook it. So we're going to lay a couple of strips in there and get that started. Don't want to put too much in. You don't want to crowd it. Do a couple at a time. They'll wait. And you'll cook these roughly three, four minutes a piece until they're golden brown. Flip them over and do the other side. Um, some people like to use a set of paper towels. I prefer a wire rack. That way all the oil will drain off and you can keep that nice crispiness on your fish. Take some tongs and make sure these guys don't get together too much. And we're going to let that cook here again for about three, four minutes aside. But as you can see, the beer batter is already forming a crust around that fish. And what it'll do is that not only will the beer batter be flavorful, but it'll be nice and juicy on the inside of the fish. I'm not going to say you can't overcook it because you can. Don't overcook it. Don't have this sitting in oil for 10 minutes aside and expect to have a good dish. Four minutes, five minutes tops. You know, but for me, four minutes, I'm sure that my, uh, four minutes aside, I'm sure that my fish is flaky. So we're going to let that go for a minute. We'll be right back. Okay, the fish is done and it's been draining on a wire rag for a few minutes, nice and crispy. So let's go ahead and, and finish this up. I've got a couple of just normal tortilla shells and I'm going to take a piece of fish and I'm going to, uh, yeah, that's good. Take a piece of fish and put it in three of these shells. Now I've got the giant size, but just for demonstration purposes, I thought I would just get the regular so you can see what's going on here. I'm just going to get fish that'll fit, but if you want to impress your friends or you feel particularly peckish, you can add more. You can have it sticking out. Oversized fish which is still just as delicious. Okay. All right. So we've got these and real simple finish. I've got some broccoli and carrot slaw with a little cabbage in there. I'm going to add a little of that to each of the tortilla shells. And these are flour tortillas, by the way. You can use corn if you like, but this is what I prefer. Heck, you can put them on bread. And then I'm going to take some of that dressing that we made a little while ago. And I'm just going to drizzle that over each of these. And after that, it's time to hit the hog trough. It's time to eat. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. You've got Smackerson's Fish Tacos, one of my favorite dishes in the world, and hopefully it'll be yours soon. This is Dad Smackerson coming to you again from Smackerson's Kitchens. Meals always start better with Smackerson's sauces. We'll see you again next time. Take care. Bye-bye. You've got Smackerson's. What are you going to do with it?